Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today we're going to learn about 10 signs you should end a relationship. Now, let's begin. Number one, abandoning your goals. Every relationship requires sacrifice. If you aren't willing to make compromises, well, your relationship is going to suffer. However, there's a firm limit to how much you should compromise in your relationship. Many people get absorbed into their relationships. They let their partner's needs take over their life and their goals begin to suffer. They put their dreams on hold to make their partner happy, but a healthy relationship should never stand in the way of your ambitions. Many people forget, especially in a long-term relationship, what the place of a relationship is. Your partner should not give your life meaning. Your partner should not be the only thing that you care about. A healthy relationship is like whipped cream on top of a sundae. The sundae is good without it, but the whipped cream it just makes it better. So don't let your relationship interfere with your goals. Yes, sacrifices are necessary to keep your relationship going, but your partner should never force you to abandon your ambitions. If they do, it's time to find someone else. Number two, consistent complacency. Your relationship may not be as fun as it used to be. To some degree, complacency is a natural thing. As you and your partner grow closer, you get more comfortable with each other. You settle into the same routines, you learn each other's habits, and the excitement begins to fade. When that happens, it's important that you and your partner find ways to reignite the passion you had in the beginning. Get creative, try new things, go on fun adventures together. But what if your partner isn't interested? What if they've gotten bored of your relationship? Well, you'd be surprised how often this happens. You stop connecting, learning, and experimenting together, and suddenly you realize your partner just doesn't care about your relationship. Now, if this sounds familiar, you can try to reignite those old feelings. But if your partner doesn't care anymore, well, it could be time to end your relationship. Number three, faking your personality. Do you feel like yourself around your partner, or do you catch yourself acting superficial? Many budding relationships face this difficult stage at one point or another. You've made a connection, you start to explore the deeper parts of each other's personalities, but suddenly you find yourself pulling away and your partner stops trying to get to know the real you. You stop bonding on that deeper level, both you and your partner may raise emotional walls so your true personality just fades into the background. So why does this happen to so many couples? Sometimes one partner is afraid to push deeper. They put up walls because they're scared of being vulnerable. Luckily, time and communication can slowly bring down those walls and create a lasting bond, but only if your partner is willing to put in the effort. Many relationships grow superficial simply because your partner stops trying. They don't make an effort to connect emotionally, so you and your partner feel like strangers. If you find yourself faking your personality around your partner, your relationship may need to end. Number four, fear of inconvenience. Have you ever asked your partner for a favor or are you afraid of inconveniencing your significant other? This is a very common sign that two people are not a good fit for each other. You may hesitate to ask anything of your partner. Why is that? Because you're scared you'll appear needy. This fear is natural in the beginning stages of a relationship, but in a long-term relationship, it's a symptom of a larger problem. You don't want to bother your partner because you're worried they're going to leave. You're scared to be needy because you don't actually trust your partner. It's not healthy to suppress your emotions, comments, or concerns. You should never be afraid that your partner might reject or abandon you. But if you are, it's time to end your relationship. Number five seeking replacements. Your partner may not meet your emotional needs. Well, let's just say you had a really stressful week at work. After five long, anxious days, you want to talk, you want to complain, and you just want to rant to your partner. You want them to listen to you and to show you that they care about you. But what if your partner tells you no? Hmm? What if they criticize you for complaining too much? These emotional rejections create a rift in your relationship and often drive partners to seek help from a replacement. A replacement is anyone who fills the void your partner has left behind. You may turn to a new friend at work or someone from your past. You may rely on that person in place of your partner. Now, it may seem harmless at first, but that separation will push you further and further apart. If your partner doesn't listen to you, if you rely on others to meet your emotional needs, 
you may be with the wrong person. Number six, fading blindness. In the beginning of any relationship, love is blind. You're mystified by how incredible your partner is. You can't think about anything but them. You brag about them to anyone who'll listen. But over time, the veil may disappear. There's nothing wrong with love fading away. Sometimes what feels like love is just temporary infatuation. And that's okay. Mm, but it's never a good feeling realizing your relationship isn't as deep and lasting as you thought. But it's important to recognize when your relationship is strong and when it's hanging by a thread. Number seven, negative change. Have you become a different person during your relationship? Would your past self feel unhappy with the person that you've become? In the context of a romantic relationship, we call this negative change. Relationships play a major role in your life. They affect everything from your lifestyle to your mental health. So it's common for partners to stimulate change in each other's interests and personalities. You may take up similar hobbies. You help each other grow emotionally. But in a healthy relationship, these changes are positive and uplifting. You're growing together because you love and support each other. In a toxic relationship, change moves the opposite direction. Instead of lifting each other up, you're tearing each other down. One partner may drag the other lower and lower, or maybe your dynamic is simply destructive anytime you're together. Either way, take a hard look at yourself. Examine the ways you've changed since your relationship began. Do you express yourself less? Has your mood worsened? Has your anxiety increased? Do you like the person you've become? If you've experienced negative change, it may be time to end your relationship. Number 8. Familial Opposition Your friends and family know you better than anyone. They've spent the most time around you, so they usually understand what kind of person fits your personality. But what if your friends and family don't like your new partner? When this happens, many people sink into denial. They tell their friends and family to give their partner a chance. They justify their partner's behavior, saying they're nervous or just need time. The truth is, if your friends and family don't approve, there's a good chance you pick the wrong person. Obviously, this isn't always the case. Not everyone is close with their families. Not everyone agrees with their friends. But make sure you listen to the people whose opinions you value most. Because those people may open your eyes to something you couldn't see on your own. Number 9. Relationship Equality Do you do all the work in your relationship? Many toxic relationships force one partner to carry the load. You text and call every time. You plan every date. You start every important conversation. A healthy relationship creates an equal balance. Sometimes you take the initiative. Other times, your partner does the same. That way, no one does all the work. Think about the last time your partner stepped into the driver's seat. When was the last time they planned a date night or made a compromise? When was the last time they called to tell you they missed you? If you can't remember, hmm, you may be in a one-sided relationship. But before you break things off, remember this. Everyone expresses love differently. Some people want to spend large amounts of time together. Others buy gifts, give compliments, or show their affection physically. Your partner may express love differently than you do, but that doesn't mean they're not trying. So pay attention to the ways your partner expresses their feelings, and that way you know when they're putting in effort and when they're not. If your partner makes a big effort in their own way, then give them credit. But love languages are not an excuse to slack off. Number 10. Unacceptable Behaviors Over the course of your relationship, your partner may pick up new habits. They may change, and you may have trouble recognizing the person you fell in love with. In the beginning, they seemed like your perfect match, but over time, they grew into someone different, someone you didn't like or understand. Now, if this sounds familiar, it may be time to end your relationship. You shouldn't tolerate unacceptable behavior just because you're in a relationship. If someone crosses a line, you have every right to stand up and take action. If you want to save your relationship, confront your partner and communicate your concerns. Your partner may not realize what they're doing wrong, and they may make an effort to change. But if they don't listen, well, it's time to find someone who will. Hey, thank you for watching Top Think, and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.